Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in our this particular video, I will discuss when you should remove the particular row or particular column to handle the null value instead of handling the null values in other way. Like I have told you that removing is not a solution. If it is numerical data, then you should try to re uh, replace the null values by either mean or median of the data set. If it is categorical data, then you should try to replace that with uh, mode of the data set. But sometimes in some particular scenario, it is better to simply remove the particular row or particular column. Okay, based on number of null values. Okay, like here, if you consider our small data set and seventh row, if you check here, country is missing, age is missing, only we know the salary. Now, if we predict the country using the mode of the particular column, if we predict the uh, age using the mean of the particular column, then as most of the data of the particular uh, row is missing, then there is a huge probability that this particular uh, substitution using statistical method also may lead to wrong result. Okay. So in this case, if in a particular row or in a particular column, if more than certain number of times null value is appearing, we will remove the particular row or column. How to do this one in MATLAB? That we will be learning. And for that, in MATLAB, one inbuilt function RM missing, same one we, what we have seen for uh, removing simply row or column if null value is present. That only we will be using, but we will be passing one more argument there. See, here you can open RM missing documentation. I will be posting the link in the description box. And if you go below, here, see what it is doing. See, study this part create any matrix with missing data and remove any column second dimension containing two or more missing values. That is, if two or more missing values are present, then only we will be removing the particular column. Return a new matrix and the logical row vector that indicates which columns A are removed. Okay. See here the beauty. Here inbuilt MATLAB supports this one. RM missing, same function as we have used for removing uh, the particular row or column for null values but we will be passing one more argument that is min num missing that is minimum number of missing values and that is 2 if in a particular column minimum number of missing values are 2 then we will be removing that it may happen that the particular column contain more than 2 missing values that does not matter if there is 2 or more than 2 we will be simply removing and these two indicates we are dealing on column ok A indicates our data set alright so we are good to go. I will be first importing the data set. I will be going to desktop and here I will be writing data.csv. Here it opens our data set. I will be clicking on the blue green color tick button and this imports our data set. I will be simply writing our data and I will be getting that. All right. I want to remove those cases where in a particular row more null values are two times or more than that. So RM missing data comma min num missing okay comma 2 I'm just giving like this and now if we write data see according to you what should be removed obviously this particular row must be removed okay because here more than here one uh, null value is appearing here one null value is appearing let us check so basically after the removing from the bottom the fifth row should be this one that is Germany 40,000 instead of 58,000 let us check see fifth row is Germany 40,000 this particular one 58,000 salary is removed okay now if you want to apply suppose for uh, the column column wise this particular concept if you want to apply you have to give here two okay and just i am showing you one example see in country column one time null value is appearing in age column one time null value is appearing just for the time being i am showing you one example that suppose you want to remove uh, columns where number of null values appearing is one or more than that that is if any null value is appearing remove that if you run now if you write data only salary column will be present because salary is having no null values so see only salary column is present like that you can use min num missing 
present in MATLAB as inbuilt okay to process this kind of data okay that is removing particular row or column when more certain more than certain number of null values are appearing okay this is very important in data pre-processing stage so you must have to do this kind of operations you should logically understand that when you should handle the missing value and when you should directly remove with uh, the missing value without handling okay all right this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you